Trigger alert, artificial sweeteners are good for your gut microbiome. Next. That's right, I said it. New study just dropped, and yeah, it was a little bit of clickbait. People make all kinds of crazy claims about artificial sweeteners. But one of the things that has stuck, even in people who admit that they don't cause you to gain body fat independent of calorie intake, uh, even people who admit they don't cause insulin secretion because they freaking don't, even people who admit they might be good for weight loss, some of them still say, but they harm your gut microbiome. And they draw these conclusions from in vitro studies, short-term studies, studies in mice, or one particular study that got a lot of attention a few years ago, it was people who had never consumed artificial sweeteners and they had them start consuming them and they saw changes in the gut microbiome. And I will say, it does appear that artificial sweeteners can impact the gut microbiome. But one of the things I've said for a long time is we don't know enough about the gut microbiome to know if that change is negative, positive, or neutral for overall health. And if we look at the overall metabolic outcomes of people who lose artificial sweeteners to lose weight, if anything, they get more metabolically healthy. So regardless of whatever may be happening with the gut microbiome, if it really was causing negative effects, we should expect to see that in overall health outcomes. And in one of these studies that called this change in the microbiome gut dysbiosis, which sounds scary, I pointed out that one of the species of bacteria that increased were a species of bacteria that is associated with leanness, better metabolic health, and lower rates of obesity, and more short-chain fatty acid production, which short-chain fatty acids produced by the gut microbiome appear to have a myriad of health benefits, including lowering inflammation, improving insulin sensitivity, and improving overall metabolic health. Again, I was not ready to say, okay, these things negatively affect the gut microbiome. A new study just got published, and this study was 10 months long, and what they did was, for the first two months, they had people lose approximately 5% of their body weight, and they had overweight adults and some kids as well go on a low-energy diet where they would lose at least 5% of their body weight, and then after two months, they took those folks who lost weight and they randomized them to either a group consuming artificial sweeteners in place of sugar or a group that could consume no artificial sweeteners, but they could consume some sugar if they wanted. Now, it's important to point out both groups started at the same average weight. Okay, they randomized them based on weight. And both groups decreased their overall sugar intake. So even the sugar group was still eating less sugar than they had previously. And as far as the artificial sweeteners, they pretty much allowed them to use any of them, like sugar alcohols, aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, all of them were on the table. And they looked at 10 months later who maintained weight loss better. And they found that the group consuming artificial sweeteners in place of sugar sweeteners maintained better weight loss. So they kept a kilogram and a half more fat off compared to the group that was not consuming artificial sweeteners. Which, by the way, this tracks with other research that's out there. Now, what was really interesting is a subset of these individuals submitted for uh, fecal testing for the gut microbiome, and what they found was favorable changes in the gut microbiome of the group getting the artificial sweeteners compared to the group not getting artificial sweeteners. And this consisted of increases in numerous gut bacteria that are involved in producing short-chain fatty acids. Am I saying that you should consume artificial sweeteners if you like drinking water and you don't like artificial sweeteners? No, I'm not. But what I am saying is they appear to be a good tool for weight loss and maintaining weight loss, especially when substituted for sugar. It can be difficult to disentangle these things because losing body fat actually can improve your gut microbiome. So is it possible that this is a case of kind of reverse causation where the group getting the artificial sweeteners ate less calories, maintained more body fat loss, and that was more favorable to the gut microbiome? It's possible, but it was only a kilogram and a half of weight difference. So I'm not sure if that would actually lead to differences in the gut microbiome. So it is possible that perhaps artificial sweeteners may actually improve the gut microbiome. Now, I want to be very clear, this is just one study. We need more studies. But the strength of it was, it was over 300 people and it was for almost a year. So some good strengths there compared to some of these studies which were only like two weeks looking at artificial sweeteners. So again, I, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying you should consume artificial sweeteners. But what I am saying is the hand-wringing around them being toxic 
to the gut microbiome appears to be overblown, at least based on this study. Now, it needs to be replicated. We need more studies to have more confidence. But again, a lot of this data tracks with what we have seen previously. Now, if you guys like these study breakdowns, make sure you subscribe to my research review reps. Every month, we break down five studies in a way that is easy to understand for anybody. We cut through the BS and give you the straight facts. Go to the link in my bio and check it out.